After selecting the appropriate tooling, let's start entering job-specific information using our menu-driven touchscreen control. The Top Bender 90 main screen displays four separate areas. Manual, which allows the operator to enter and bend any one angle while displaying the actual bend angle position and machine load. Auto, which displays the current program information, bend sequence, distance to go, and actual bend angle position. Services, which is the gateway to all machine services. Select your control language and monitor and adjust machine settings. View detailed alarm information. Reset the emergency stop. Set the pressure die on or off and troubleshoot machine functions. And finally, program. From this screen, the operator can select, enter, and store detailed program information, including the former radius, tube diameter, wall thickness, and tube length. All programs store easily to the USB for future use. To begin, rotate the main power switch to the on position. After the menu screen appears, touch the service icon on the menu, select machine reset, and the icon will illuminate, indicating power to the machine and control. From the service page, the operator can test the machine brake by selecting the brake test function. Select inch or metric display, select the operating language of choice, view and clear any machine status alarms, and view machine values. The machine data page includes a factory setting reset and is password protected to prevent unwanted changes. For quick one-angle bending, simply select the manual icon, move the counterbend die-axis into position, select the pressure reset icon to reset axis position to zero, depress the plus button on the handheld remote and release when you reach the desired position. Bend RPM can be adjusted and actual machine workload can be monitored. For multi-part and jobs requiring more than one bend, select the automatic icon. Here, the operator can assign the program a number and enter tube data for future reference. Accessing the notebook icon allows the operator to enter detailed notes. Depress arrow over to display the bend angle program area. The operator can enter 12 bends, each with an individual springback setting for greatest accuracy. When all angles are entered, exit to the automatic screen. Move the counterbend die-axis into position. Select the pressure reset icon to reset axis position to zero. Depress the plus button on the handheld remote and hold until the programmed bend angle is reached. The screen will display programmed bend angle, spring back value, actual position, and distance to go. Once the bend is complete, release the bend button and depress the return button on the hand remote. Should subsequent bends be programmed, the control will advance as bends are completed. Controlling the bend cycle has never been easier. The Top Bender 90's new handheld control allows the operator freedom to start or stop the bend cycle as needed and contains the emergency stop function as well. This control meets all Class 3 safety standards. Should spring back and bend angle values require editing during the bend cycle, simply stop the bend, go to Programming, and make the desired changes. After creating a bend program, the operator can load an existing program from the USB to the control or transfer the current program on the control to the USB by simply selecting the appropriate icon from the automatic screen. The information is securely stored. For demonstration purposes, this video shows a 2 one half inch Schedule 40 pipe being bent to a 9-inch centerline radius. All Urcolina models offer simple retooling changeover, further increasing your productivity. Select and install the necessary tooling shaft. Slide the counterbending die into the dovetail on the vise assembly. And slide the center former over the hex shaft, aligning the zero positions. For ease of use, all machine cases and tooling are clearly marked with zero mounting positions. 
tooling is machined to mount only at the zero position of the hex shaft. Ercolina's patented swing-away counterbending die vise slides over the vise post and pivots, allowing quick loading and unloading of material. Lubricate the face of the counterbend die with Ercolina spray grease before inserting the workpiece. Using the handle provided, move the counterband axis to securely position the material between the counterband die and the center former. If the pressure monitoring is turned on, the pressure die axis will need to be reset by depressing the icon. Proper vice tension will allow the vise to pivot in and out of position as needed. The vise base should remain parallel to the machine case. During the first bend to determine material spring back, initiate the bend cycle by depressing the plus key on the handheld remote. Stop when the material begins to flex. Using the Allen wrench provided, adjust the vise backing screw to support the vise. Adjusting this screw properly will improve bend quality. Use the locking nut to secure the vise screw. Depress the plus key on the handheld remote to continue the bend cycle. The machine will automatically stop once the programmed angle has been reached. Pick up the phone and call us. You'll discover why so many customers ask for Ercolina by name. Be sure you ask for Ercolina today. Ercolina, beware of imitations.